Hello, hello, Yvonne Wadley here, and I'm just going to get ready really, really quick. We are going on a date. It's been a while, so it's super, super exciting, but I'm gonna start with my eyebrows really quick, and this will be a super duper quick, just my go-to everyday makeup, because I'm running late, as usual. <laughs> so let's go really, really quick. So again, I always start at the bottom of the eyebrow and then kind of bring it up and then do the little lines here on the inside and kind of fill the, fill the eyebrows in. Like that kind of thing, my jig. And then I love that it has a spoolie or pencil has a spoolie in it. I love it because then I don't have to go and find another tool. It's just built in built in as i drop things right but anywho anywho okay so let me find my brush here. here's my brush okay so because we're probably gonna be taking pictures and stuff i'm going to make sure that my eyebrows look somewhat decent so i'm going to outline them like this again this is super duper easy quick step just to kind of clean them up I just recently had them uh, threaded, so they're pretty clean, but this just kind of seals the deal. And you saw how quick that happened, like to do the eyebrow makeup, super duper quick. Then you just kind of rebrush them and make sure that they're contained and that they look good. If you find like different holes in them, you just kind of fill them up again or not, right? So, okay, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to do my eyes real first. Super, super basic. I'm wearing this cute top from Tarjay. And I'm just going to use um, just a brown eyeshadow. I'm not even going to use concealer underneath it because we're in a huge hurry. So we're using this color. I always like to start with a warm color um, because my skin is a warm tone, so this kind of just brings everything together. I, I always, most of the time when I wear um, eyeshadow, I always kind of do a basic brown underneath. Whether it's this color or this color in a lighter, like less pigment, or um, like a variation of this color, but it's usually this color that I use. And then I'm going to go with, um, let me grab a different brush going to go with a different brush and grab so we went from um, this one which is ashing for trouble then we're going to go with this uh, pretty um, brown which is uh, accordingly and I'm just going to put it back here and I don't mind having a little bit of shimmer on my eyes because my lips are probably going to be neutral of some sort so we're just going to bring that kind of more towards the end and then just kind of do a little wipe in but it's mostly concentrated at the end on the end and then with the other side of the brush because we don't want to use all the brushes right we're gonna go I'm gonna go with this color and uh, which is like peachy it's a peachy color and I'm just going to put that here we get let's see what we get oh it's called peachy gleam this that's the name of this color which I really really like I use this all the time it's a very neutral peachy color for my skin tone this is like a really really um, good shade to have and then I'm gonna go with uh, with uh, this flat little end brush and grab a little bit of this color, which is a lot lighter. And that one will go just on the water duct like right here and then kind of just build it up from there. Kind of like this and then just a little bit down here after i finish doing my foundation i'll carry it down but for now it just stays 
on the eyes and then i'm gonna grab my eyeliner super super sharp uh and because i have the lashes on that are like there but not there and almost all gone um i'm just i have to pull it because i have to pull them down if i try to do it with my eyelashes they get in the way so i have to do it like this most of the time when you're doing your eyeliner you don't please don't pull your eye but because I have the falsies on, I kind of have to. And I'm not going to have a big old tail. I'm just going to go to like right there. Super duper neutral. Get it as close to the lash line as you can. And then pull up a little bit. So make sure we make it even. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's as even as I'm gonna get it. Like I'm, I don't even have to worry about that or changing anything or whatever. That's what we're saying. Hi Valerie. Hi Cheyenne. And um, and again, after I do my foundation, I'm going to go back to the bottom of my eye to uh, take care of that part. Then I'm going to grab a pencil. Let me find a pencil. That's sharpened. And if it's brown. Yeah. Here it is. Okay, so here we have a black pencil. I like to go under my waterline on the top just to make sure that it's all covered and then just like a little bit here towards the end just so it doesn't feel so like top heavy hi nicole so top heavy this adds a little bit of balance to the look and i like to just kind of throw it in there a little bit and i love that this is not going to give you raccoon eyes or any of those shenanigans and then i have a little bit of melasma right here and then a little bit over my top lip and then right here let me add a little bit of um let me add my primer real quick so that i can add foundation there it is no worries no concerns let me find there's gonna be a lot of people there so i'm a little kind of <laughs> i'm a little bit of uh a lot of an introvert and then with this COVID thing that i've just had to stay home i've gotten really comfortable with just being home and not having to like step out of my comfort zone you're like yeah but you go live that's different that is very different it just feels different in my body <laughs> doesn't give me anxiety see that mess back there yeah um it doesn't uh do all the things that being in person does so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited because I'm really excited to celebrate our friend and um, and my hubby. So that'll be a really, really good, uh, fun thing to do. Okay, so I can't find what I was looking for, but I'm just going to use concealer then. Okay, so I'm just going to grab concealer and cover up like almost like a, a uh, what is it called? Spot treatment. So just on the spot. So see like right here, I have a like a little spot right here. Uh, yeah, that is a sunspot because I used to not wear sunscreen when I was young, like ever. I thought it just stunk and it smelled weird and I didn't like what it did to my skin. So I hardly ever wore sunscreen. And then right here I have like red marks so I like to cover those up. And then on my upper lip I have some melasma and discoloration so I always like to cover that up. And this is what my concealer routine looks like. Just very, very little, super light, just a cover up of like the main things that I wanna cover up. Then the look that I've been going for lately is like, a, in, like from inside out glow. So I'm gonna go with this orange. My shirt has a little bit of orange, it's fall. So we're gonna go with this super bright orange and I know it looks so scary. It's so bright, right? But it looks so pretty when it's um, covered up so we just apply I haven't put on foundation as you saw right so we just apply the blush first which is dry because it's a powder so we're going to apply that always start here and then kind of just bring it up right we want to lift the face as much as we can 
So we're going to apply it there and then bring it up. And I'm pressing and kind of swiping a little bit, but mostly just kind of, mostly it's on the press. So yeah, I could go like this and look like a crazy person or I could make it better, right? So I'm gonna go with a blenderful. Um, I love, love, love wet, getting this wet. It gives me like a nice sheer complexion and I love it. I'm all about it. The most sheer, the better, but it still covers up the things that I want covered up. So we're going to load it up and then just go on the areas that I don't have anything on. So I'm gonna start up here, kind of bring it in. This technique was taught by one of our professional makeup artists, like a celebrity makeup artist. So I tend to believe that person, <laughs> like that this works. And ever since I tried it, I've loved it. He didn't say avoid the blush areas until the end. That's my own rule. I just feel like that makes sense. So I have been doing that, <laughs> but here we go. So there's a cover of the blush area after I covered everything else. So very, very pretty, like you can see it. Like, so I haven't even touched the side on the blush area. So obviously that is too much blush, but look how pretty it looks. Hola, Veronica. So it just kind of blends everything in and it just looks very, very pretty. Yes, Blenderful is amazing. And then I use so many of them. I have two teenage daughters, I use it as well. So the six pack of Blenderfuls could have come at a better time. I love having a bunch of Blenderfuls kind of on standby. <laughs> okay, so to brighten my eyes, I'm going to uh, grab a little bit of uh, this light foundation, which is two shades lighter than my complexion. So this is two shades lighter than this color. And I just grab a little bit and kind of just dab it right here under my eyes just to make my eyes look brighter, like look more awake, more alive. I slept all night kind of a look, right? We go on the other side. So very, very pretty, very, very subtle. If you are struggling with uh, fine lines or wrinkles or anything, this is not going to affect. Then I'm just gonna go to the side that I use my regular foundation and just kind of dab it in to make sure that it's very well blended on. And then we're going to go like do another extra little twist. So we got the regular color and the light color and then we're gonna go into the dark color, right? So in the dark color, we're just going to go up always up because we want to lift our faces right so we're going to go up right here and then bring it to like right there and hair included and then up here to kind of shrink up the i have to do my hair still to kind of shrink up the forehead and to add some worth into it i like it wet nicole I like, well, damp. I like it damp. Um, dry is, I feel like it's for more coverage. So if you need more coverage, definitely, definitely recommend using a dry blender full. But if you mostly want it for like a dewy look, which is what I mostly go for, I would go with dark every time. That's what I use. Okay, so as you can see, you can use a blender full for the whole routine. I'm using it now to contour my face. Not super, super contour. Again, this is still like a barbecue kind of date. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just want to look nice in the pictures, right? So I still want it to look nice, but nothing crazy. So that's that. And then I just go down here and make sure I get my jawline very, very defined. Hide all the things that we want to hide down there. And then just with whatever that's left on the sponge from the regular color, just bring it down. And when color matching is super duper important, like when I ask you for a color matching picture, uh, it's very, very important that you send me a picture that has your chest on it. 
because that's what I color match too. Like a lot of times people like try to color match to their neck, but you color, your neck is a lot of times going to be a lot lighter than your face and a lot lighter than your, than your chest. But if you have your chest exposed, that's what people are going to like more mostly look at. So always send me a picture with including your chest. As you can see, look at my color. It blends perfect onto my chest and then it blends perfect onto my face like you can't even tell where i put it right but it might be a little bit well it's not because i'm kind of one color right now but it could be a, maybe a little tad darker here that's why we always want to bring it down here because you never know but for me like you can see the perfect perfect little match on my face like it just disappears it just blends on you don't have to worry about the color or anything like that so i love 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 that our foundations do that okay so that's that for that thing i'm trying to figure out if uh, i'm gonna add a little bit of weight towards the bottom of my my channel let me see here we go i'm just gonna grab a little bit of this brown the uh antique no what is it called a portable the brown the shimmery brown onto the bottom of my eye right here just to add a little more weight at the bottom and then kind of accentuate it a little bit more and yes i have to make that face I like it okay so that's kind of what we're doing and then I'm just gonna go with a like a basic nude lip so I'm going to use my um, enduring lip color lip liner the dark nude that is one of my favorite go-to's I need to sharpen it to do the top and to sharpen it you literally just do you hear that click yeah, that click, it, there's an internal sharpener. So you don't have to worry about having a sharpener if you have our liners. Hi, Aisa. You just use it like that. And you can do your whole lips with the Endurn liner or just line them, whatever you want. Right now, this is all I have here. So I'm gonna use it for everything. Plus I love the color anyways. And this will last for a lot of hours, like 16 hours, I think. So definitely worth it. If you have a, a lipstick that you like, that you already own, uh, you can put it on top of this and the Enduring Lip Liner will make it last longer because it's already like created the space for it to grasp onto. And if the lipstick falls off, you have the liner. Oh, little chunk of lip if you have a, if the lipstick falls off you still have the liner that's going to hold on to uh, to the color so you don't have to worry about it i feel like i need mascara so bad i don't know if i put mascara what happens to the lashes do they fall off because i kind of want them to fall off let's see okay um let me just finish the bottom of my eye i said i was going to finish the bottom of my eye and i'm just going to grab a little more of this color the light I forget what color name is this um I always do it like right here on the inside and then once I finish my makeup I bring it down just a little bit just adds more light into my eye looks more open more awake me and my awake lack of sleeping tells you anything bring it down here and just up like that and then that's the same color that I can use if I want to use a highlighter that is the same color that I use up sorry for the dogs so did you see that shimmer shimmer it's very subtle very pretty just kind of barely there but it's still there so you can do this on your nose and do like all the things like a highlighter but with an eyeshadow so you don't have to worry about buying multiple products because one works and i cannot wait to get the due dates because they're going to be amazing and bring that extra shimmer to my face so anyway if you want to be color matched um let me know i will be color matching throughout the day and tomorrow 
in uh, the next few days <laughs> so let me know if you need to be color matched um, I will let you know like the type of picture that I need the lighting that it needs uh, again I need any picture that a lot of times you guys just send me a random picture of you I need a, a picture with a natural like a window lighting and showing your chest so that I can properly color match you and get you the right shade I have a pretty good uh, way of telling what is your shade but the better the picture the easier it is for me to come up with the appropriate color for you so let me know um, if you need to be color matched again I will be color matching uh, if you need to add a blush or a bronzer onto your life let me know I will recommend the colors that go with your complexion and then we go from there whether you need a trio like mine or you're scared of that orange and you want a more um, subtle color like this is my other go-to this is a very beautiful um, fall color I, I love it this is one of my favorite colors and uh, we can go from there so I'll talk to you guys later thank you for joining me I'll see you around bye